Welcome to MicroBeast version 3, Binding and Setting Failsafe for Spectrum Remote Receivers. This video is very important. In this video, I'll be covering the proper use of a Spectrum satellite receiver, proper binding of a DSMX receiver, proper binding of a DSM-2 receiver. I'll also cover setting failsafe, which is very important, and I'll tell you why. A single line satellite receiver should never be used on a model that's larger than 450 size or any model that you'll fly farther than 50 yards away. Always set fail safe. I'll show you how and I'll tell you why. Never use a satellite receiver unless you know exactly what type it is. DSMX or DSM2. Some of the earlier DSMX models weren't marked. Now we'll cover proper binding of a DSMX satellite receiver. First put the bind plug in the sys port and power the microbeast through the channel 5 port. This is where your throttle or BEC will plug in. I'm using a 4.8 volt battery for this demonstration. This is also the port where we'll set fail safe for the throttle. Now press the button while you power on. This is just for DSMX receivers. Don't do this unless you're using any Spectrum remote, unless you're 100% sure it's DSMX. Enter bind mode on your transmitter, just follow the manufacturer's instructions, and wait for the flashing LEDs. Then power off. Remove the bind plug, and power back on. The microbeast won't initialize because we haven't set the receiver type. Power off and hold down the button while you power on. Now you're in the receiver menu. Press and hold until the light turns purple. Then press briefly. Wait for that blue status light. And then hold the button down until the end light flashes. Make sure your throttle's all the way down. And press the button. Go ahead and power off. We're done. I'd like to take a minute here to talk about failsafe and why I think it's so important. Uh, if you don't take the time to set your failsafe, and let's just say you're working on the bench setting up your helicopter and you got it throttle hold and it's an electric, you got the battery plugged in so the BEC will work, and everything's going good. And your kid walks in and knocks your transmitter off the bench and it shuts off or breaks. Well, the helicopter is going to go to whatever throttle setting it's set to if it loses connection. And unless you set it, it could go to full throttle or half throttle. In either way, probably somebody's going to get hurt. So for your own safety, please, please. Take the time to set up failsafe. I like to set the throttle to go to either idle on a nitro or zero on electric, and then I want all the other servos to hold their position. That's just my preference. But whatever you do, set up failsafe. Now we'll cover proper binding of a DSM-2 satellite receiver. Put the bind plug in and power on. Don't press the button while you power on. Enter bind mode on your transmitter and follow the manufacturer's instructions. Wait for the bind to complete as indicated by the flashing LEDs. Go ahead and power off. Remove the bind plug and power back on. The microbeast won't initialize because we haven't set the receiver type. So power off and hold down the button while you power on. Now press the button again and hold it until the status light turns purple. And then one more time. And then wait for the status light to turn blue. And then press and hold the button until the end light flashes. Make sure the throttle is all the way down. We're setting fail safe now. 
Now press the button briefly and power off. We're done. It's done right.